Hey, this is Hunter at HunterWorks. If you guys haven't already checked it out yet, go check out the new product video and the why video on the Dynajet PowerVision 3 programmer from HunterWorks. My dad, Todd, does a really good job explaining more of the what and the why behind the PowerVision 3 at HunterWorks. In the last video, I showed you guys more of the how. I showed you guys how to read the ECU off your Polaris vehicle, and then two ways you can send those extracted files to me in order to get those HunterWorks tune files back. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get those HunterWorks tune files onto your computer, back onto your programmer, and back into your vehicle. So I already have my device connected to my computer using the USB-A cord provided in the Dynajet box that you will receive. And then I already have my email popped up, and then the Finder app, you can use this on MacBook or Microsoft. On MacBook, this is gonna be in Finder. So the PowerVision file is uploaded. In the last video, I had you guys send me the PV info file as well as the stock file in an email. I had you guys title it PV3 as a subject line, and then I had you put your year, make, and model 2018 uh, Razor HP1000. That's the vehicle that I was reading. Uh, and then this is the email that I had sent back to myself, acting as it was me sending it back to you guys. Um, I sent you back the HunterWorks file and the HunterWorks Speed Limited file. Uh, the HunterWorks file is more of the performance file and then the HunterWorks Speed Limit is the same exact tune file except we put a speed limit on it. So if your crazy uncle came or your crazy friend came over and you didn't want him going over let's say 45 miles an hour, we can do that for you. So what you want to do now is you want to download these files onto your computer. And I found the easiest way on a MacBook is to go ahead and have your PowerVision file uploaded onto Finder, and then you can just drag and drop right in to your PowerVision file. So at this point, it was pretty easy. Uh, you now have your HunterWorks Tune files back onto your programmer. It was that simple. So now we can unplug your device because they're successfully stored onto your programmer, and we can go ahead and connect it back to your vehicle. In the last video, I showed you guys the wiring harness and where to find the OBD port on this 2018 Razor XP 1000. Uh, same process applies here. We're going to just go ahead and connect the OBD port to your vehicle and the other end to your device. At this point, you can turn the key on. So I'm going to bring it in closer for you guys to see. Uh, this is that initial screen that I mentioned in the previous video. Just gives more information about tuning licenses for other vehicles. So in the last video, I had you go down to Vehicle Tools and I went down to Read ECU. This extracted those files that I needed in order to give you those HunterWorks files back to you. So in this video, I just uploaded the HunterWorks files onto the, back onto the device after I sent them back to you guys. And now you go into the flash tune setting and look at there. The HunterWorks and the HunterWorks speed limit is now applied to your vehicle. So I'm just going to click on the performance one. I like to go fast and I'm going to start the ECU flash. Continue. After your vehicle gets done flashing, you can unplug your device, turn off your key, and your HunterWorks Performance Tune is now applied to your vehicle. I hope that process was simple for you. If you guys have any more comments, concerns, questions, email me at hunter at hunterworks.com. I'll be the head guy, uh, the tech specialist on these Dynajet PowerVision 3 programmers. Uh, I do also want to mention, don't forget, HunterWorks has the best belts on the planet. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.